Tonight, history is made in space nearly 51 years after the Apollo 17 landing on the moon. Started. All engines are started. We have ignition. Two, one, zero. We have a liftoff. December 7th, 1972, Apollo 17 and its crew lifted off from what was then called Cape Kennedy in Florida on an historic flight to the moon. We'd like to dedicate the first step of Apollo 17 to all those who made it possible. And when they landed, they paid tribute to what was thought to be an end of an era in lunar exploration. But all that changed tonight again as the Odysseus moon lander touched down on the moon after 623 tonight. It was a little tense, though, as it took several minutes for the lander to finally make contact with the command center. This is the first time a U.S. spacecraft has landed there since that Apollo 17 mission. Arby Buckley explains how this new project has an important connection to Northeast Ohio. What we can confirm, without a doubt, is our equipment is on the surface of the moon, and we are transmitting. History made Thursday evening as a privately built U.S. spacecraft touches down on the moon. Today, for the first time in more than a half century, the U.S. has returned to the moon. The company, Intuitive Machines, based in Houston, awarded $118 million by NASA to build and fly the uncrewed spacecraft with a number of experiments on board, including one developed over the last 15 years here in Northeast Ohio, called a radio frequency mass gauge. It estimates how much propellant is available in a tank, like a gas gauge for your car, but with no gravity and for a spacecraft. The more we can test this now, these technologies, the more we can support actual astronauts that are in space through the Artemis program, um, through future programs as well. Landing on the moon's south pole with one focus on specific craters. We found frozen water ice in the bottoms of those craters. Water ice that's been there since, oh, it's been there for more than four billion years. Jandar Bradshaw is with the Great Lakes Science Center and is a former NASA contractor. He says the ability to purify that water ice as drinking water could lighten the travel load. Remember, for every pound that you want to put on orbit, it takes eight pounds of our best fuel to get it there. All eyes now on the future and beyond. This is the first step to something much bigger, much greater. We have plans to, uh, to explore our solar system in ways that we've never done before. Houston, Odysseus has found his new home. And that will be its new home at least for around seven days, I believe, is the last they said, up to seven days. But tonight we're still waiting to see those new images from the moon, from the lunar surface. About two hours ago, the company tweeted that they confirmed Odysseus is upright and is starting to send data. But here we are still waiting for those highly anticipated images for us. Bree Buckley sounding like she's on the moon tonight, but no, she's here in Northeast Ohio. <laughs> Thank you so much, Bree. I sure am.